Bienvenidos. Welcome all you fabulous people to Spain on a Fork. Today we're going to revisit an old recipe we've done here before on the show. You'll find that recipe up here in the iCard. Of course, we're going to improve this recipe so it has more flavor and it's even easier to put together. Folks, we're talking a no yeast, no bake, homemade pizza that's done in just 30 minutes. This is a perfect pizza for any occasion. But right now while you're in lockdown or quarantine, it's the perfect dish because it's made with very basic ingredients. It's effortless to put together and once again, it's done in just 30 minutes. Guys, this is going to be so much fun. Let's dive right in. I'm going to begin by adding one cup of all-purpose flour into a large bowl. For the next ingredient, you want to add in one teaspoon of baking powder. Once again, I'm out of baking powder and the supermarket sold out of it because of the lockdown. Just like the bread I made up here in the iCard above, I'm going to use this hack I used online to substitute the baking powder. I'm going to add in a quarter teaspoon of baking soda into a bowl and half a teaspoon of white wine vinegar and mix them together until they're well combined. This is going to be the rising agent for my pizza dough. Once again, if you're out of baking powder, use this mixture right here. This equals exactly one teaspoon of baking powder and add it into the bowl with the flour. I'm also going to add in half a teaspoon of fine sea salt, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and one third cup of cold water. And I'm going to start mixing the ingredients together until they're well combined. After about one minute and you're starting to form a dough, get into it with your hands and start mixing it together. We're trying to make a compact dough here. and continue to knead it inside the bowl between one to two minutes. This is a quick dough, so by doing this for another minute to two minutes, it's gonna help develop some of those gluten strands in the flour to give this pizza dough an incredible texture. And then shape the pizza dough into a ball. For the next step, I'm gonna sprinkle some all-purpose flour on a clean, flat surface. Add the ball of dough on top. And we're going to shape our dough in a circular design that's between one eighth of an inch to a quarter inch thick. Once I have my dough rolled out, I'm going to grab a large frying pan. The size of this one is 10 inches in diameter. I'm going to add in some extra virgin olive oil into the pan and brush it around to make sure I cover the entire surface of the frying pan. Then I'm gonna add the pizza dough into the pan. And make sure you mold the dough into the pan. That way it fits in there like a glove. And for the final step on the dough, make sure you pierce it with a fork all over. This is gonna ensure that when we cook this dough, it fully cooks through. All right, let's start creating our pizza. I'm gonna add in some marinara sauce on top of the dough and evenly spread it around. Now the sauce that I'm using, I made from scratch, but you can also use the store-bought stuff here. Here's the recipe for the one that I'm using. I grabbed a saucepan, added in some extra virgin olive oil, and one clove of garlic I finely minced and mixed it around with the extra virgin olive oil on a medium heat. After about one minute and those garlics were nice and fragrant, I added in one 15 ounce can of canned tomato sauce, one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and seasoned with a generous half teaspoon of dried oregano, a generous half teaspoon of dried basil, a pinch of sea salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, and a little white sugar to cut the acid from the tomatoes. And gave it a quick mix, that way everything's well combined, and I simmered this just for two to three minutes, and voila, look how easy it came together. All right, let's move back to our pizza. Once you have your sauce evenly divided, I'm gonna grab some shredded mozzarella and sprinkle it all over the tomato sauce. And for the toppings, I'm going to add in some roasted red bell peppers I cut into thin strips. 
and some sliced black olives. As you can see, I'm using toppings here that you don't have to cook. That's the secret when you're making a pizza that's not going into the oven. You don't want to use ingredients that have to cook, otherwise they're not going to fully cook through and it's not going to taste the same. Then I'm going to place a lid on the pan, transfer it into a stove top, and heat it with a low to low medium heat. The secret here is make sure that you're cooking this on a low to low medium heat. That way the crust doesn't burn in the bottom and it fully cooks through. After about 15 minutes and that cheese looks like it's fully melted, I'm gonna remove the pan from the stove top and take off the lid. And check it out guys, look how beautiful this pizza looks and that cheese is fully melting through. I'm gonna gently transfer it into a cutting board and cut a slice of pizza. That way you guys can see how incredible this turned out. I cannot wait to try this pizza. Look how insane it turned out. And look at that crust. That looks perfectly cooked. Here we go. It's pizza is so good. <laughs> Toppings aside, because that's optional. Here, we're here for the crust of this pizza. The crust is right on the money. It's got a nice crunch to it. It's fully cooked through and it's got a beautiful flavor to it, guys. Such an amazing pizza made with very basic ingredients and came together in 30 minutes. Enjoy this at any time of your life. But right now during lockdown or quarantine, there's nothing better than pizza. And to top that off, nothing better than homemade pizza. That's as easy to make as this. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, Joan Novak. Again, Joan, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. It's thanks to people like you and the rest of my patrons why Spain on Fork continues to move forward. If you're not a patron, consider becoming one. Help with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego. This is seriously so good. I love pizza. I love you guys. Hasta luego.